Hello and welcome back to Code Academy's Learn JavaScript. We're in the arrays section. This is arrays with let and const. You may recall that you can declare variables with both the let and const keywords. Variables declared with let can be reassigned. Variables declared with the const keyword cannot be reassigned. However, elements in an array declared with const remain mutable, meaning that we can change the contents of a const array, but cannot reassign a new array or a different value. The instructions below will illustrate this concept more clearly. Pay close attention to the similarities and differences between the condiments array and the utensils array as you complete the steps. Instructions 1. Below the two existing arrays, reassign the element in index 0 of condiments to mayo. Log the updated array condiments to the console. So if we zoom out, go here, reassign the element in index 0 of condiment by doing that should reassign the element in index 0 of condiments to mayo. Then we log it out, run it. We do get index 0 to be mayo. 2. Below your code from step 1, reassign condiments to be a new array that contains a single string mayo. So go here. We're taking condiment and reassigning it to be a new array that contains a single string mayo. And then we're logging it. Notice that we can reassign elements in an array and reassign an entire new array. And we do see that we were able to reassign a new array with a single string of mayo to condiments. 3. Below your code from step 2, reassign the last item from the utensils array to spoon. Log the updated array to the console. So here, the last element would be 0, 1, 2, 3. So utensils index 3 will now contain spoon. Let's log it, run it, and we do get spoon at the end of that array. So what we're learning here is the difference between an array declared using let and an array declared using const. With a let declared array, we're able to assign a brand new array or reassign a new value to an element within the array. When it's const, we're able to still reassign a value to an element within our array, but we are not able to create a new array or a different value. As long as you're understanding that, then you guys are getting this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.